We've all had those moments, sitting on the edge of our seats, controller in hand, immersed in the incredible world PlayStation has brought to life. But have you ever stopped to think about how these iconic gaming consoles came to be? Well, in this video, we're gonna dive deep behind the scenes to uncover the fascinating process of how PlayStation consoles are made. Don your glasses as we get nerdy with PCBs, semiconductors, and peripherals. But before we geek out, we need to start first at looking at the cutthroat origin story of this amazing piece of art that has revolutionized the gaming world. Our story begins with Ken Kutaragi, a brilliant but underestimated Sony engineer. Inspired by his daughter's love for Nintendo's Famicom, Kutaragi secretly collaborated with Nintendo to develop the SPC-700 sound processor for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, or SNES. His bold move almost got him fired, but Sony's president, Norio Oga saw the spark of genius and took him under his wing. The partnership between Nintendo and Sony flourished, leading to plans for a groundbreaking SNES CD add-on, nicknamed the PlayStation. But just as the dream was coming to life, betrayal struck. Nintendo's president, fearing Sony's growing influence, cut ties without warning, leaving Sony humiliated. Fueled by the sting of betrayal, Oga and Kuragi vowed revenge. In a dramatic boardroom showdown in 1992, Kutaragi revealed his secret project, a console powered by immersive 3D graphics and a proprietary CD-ROM system. Although met with the resistance from Sony's higher-ups, Kutaragi's passion and Oga's fury over Nintendo's backstabbing pushed the project forward. By October 27th in 1993, the world was introduced to Sony's PlayStation. Armed with cutting-edge 3D graphics inspired by Sega's Virtua Fighter, the PlayStation wasn't just a console, it was a declaration of war. The rivalry between Sony and Nintendo would forever change the gaming industry. The first PlayStation launched in Japan on December 3, 1994, followed by its US debut in September of 1995. With hit titles like Twisted Metal and Ridge Racer, it quickly became a global sensation, shipping over 100 million units by 2005. But with history aside, Let's pop the hood on a single, more modern unit and see what makes it tick. Like virtually every electronic device out there, semiconductors are an important component in the manufacturing process of PlayStation consoles. They are used to manufacture components like central processing units, or CPU, and the graphics processing unit, or GPU, as well as memory. Silicon is extracted from silicon dioxide and melted into single crystal cylindrical ingots, which are sliced into thin 300 millimeter wafers. These wafers are polished to a mirror finish and prepared for chip production, similar to how the lenses and night vision goggles are made. In photolithography, wafers are coated with a light-sensitive photoresist and exposed to ultraviolet light through a photomask with the circuit design. The exposed areas are chemically altered and unprotected sections are etched away, leaving the circuit pattern on the wafer. Next up, layers for transistors, interconnects, and insulation are then added using chemical vapor deposition. Specific regions are doped with impurities to adjust the silicon's conductivity, forming P-type and N-type regions. For high-performance chips, techniques like FIN FET architecture are used to create advanced transistors. PCBs are made from fiberglass reinforced epoxy laminate with copper sheets laminated into the surface for conductive traces. Multiple layers alternate between single traces ground planes, and power planes bonded under heat and pressure. A photoresist is applied, exposed to a UV light through a circuit pattern photomask, and chemically developed to reveal the desired copper design. Unwanted copper is then etched away, leaving the circuit intact. Drilled holes connect layers and mount components, filled with conductive material and electroplated with copper. A solder mask insulates the board, and labels are added via silk screening. Other components like cooling fans, optical drives for disc version consoles, controllers, and ports are obtained from contract manufacturers and third-party suppliers, which are then procured by Sony to be inserted into the console. The components are first sorted out into assembly kits for specific console models. Key components like the CPU, RAM, and GPU are then placed into the printed circuit board. For tiny components like resistors and capacitors, Surface mount technology is used to attach them as well. Components are soldered onto the PCB with the use of soldering machines, which ensure strong and precise electrical connections. 
Other major components like the cooling system, power supply unit, and storage unit are also integrated into the system. To align the casing, the internal components are placed into the lower half of the external casing, thereby aligning them with mounting points to ensure a snug fit. Screws and fasteners are also used to secure components with the aid of robotic arms. For ports like HDMI, USB, and Ethernet, those are also aligned with the casing cutouts and then secured. The peripheral components, which include dual sense controllers, are connected to the console for testing, while connectivity modules are installed for testing for signal strength. And packaging is the final stage of the manufacturing process. Due to the fragile nature of the consoles, they are packed together with their accessories into branded boxes. Tamper-proof seals are then applied as to ensure authenticity, and finally, the assembled consoles are then shipped to regional warehouses for distribution to retailers and consumers. And there you have it, the amazing journey of how PlayStation consoles are brought to life. What part of the process did you like the most? Let us know in the comments section below. Also, don't forget to like, share, and comment for more insightful videos like this one. And as always, thank you for watching.